team has some of the best mentors out there. They're just the most passionate people that want to give their all to the kids on our team. I just love working with them. Say so thank you to all the mentors that have been with us to the Pick and Plan. Uh, coming into Bomb Squad, last year I was a rookie member. I knew nothing. No, not mechanical, not electrical. And one mentor that really helped me was John Novak, because he knows a little bit about everything. I say a little bit, I mean he knows a lot about everything. And he is patient with you, he doesn't make you feel bad when you don't know something, he'll walk you through it and until you understand it. So he's, he's definitely been a big influence on how our robot's been working and how we've been recording data. He's been a big influence on how we do a lot of things. Uh, when I did join, I started uh, hanging out more with Brandon and he really got the ball rolling, I guess. Um, I got really interested in CAD, in um, assembling the robot, and prototyping, and building and designing things. Um, and he was really empowering. He made me feel like I could do things, and that I, I did do a good job, um, and that it was possible for me to use these skills that I was learning, even if I didn't realize it. I know that Brandon and all of the other mentors, um, they have families that are they, they really care about and that they want to spend a lot of time with too. And the fact that you give up some of that time and share it and divide it equally is so impressive and I appreciate it so much that you give that to us because you can't replace it, but it means a lot. The mentor that inspires me the most is Taylor Basinger. He shows me how to do anything that I can't figure out, and even if he doesn't know how to do it, he will admit that he doesn't know how, and we'll show you how to do it. We'll, we'll figure out how to do it with you. Taylor means a lot to me as a mentor because he wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to get as far as I ha have gotten without him showing me how to do some of the things he has and the support he's given me and the stuff I've been doing. One thing I would say to him to show his appreciation is keep doing you. You can't change that. You're So, Miss Christie was, um, other than Miss Jackie, the first mentor that I ever actually talked to. Um, and she did a really good job of welcoming me onto the team and getting me interested in it. And I was a little intimidated at first, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I didn't really know what to do, um, what I could do. And she was really good about always being there and being really supportive and helpful and bringing a lot of good ideas to the table that really helped me progress as a, as a team member. She's the only female mentor that's really involved in the, um, the build team portion, I guess. Um, and I'm not really involved in, in media or, or anything else. So uh, it's nice to have her there amongst all the, the boys. <laughs> so Meredith does a lot of behind the scenes work on the bomb squad and a lot of behind the scenes work in Arkansas first. And she's really passionate about the program and she just loves to help kids. And she really wants to make sure the kids have the best opportunities that they can. Um, I think that Brian and Jason are two of the most influential uh, mentors that are in, this, in the program uh, for the area of software. Um, they seem to have a real, really strong knowledge in what they're doing and a passion for what it is. There's a lot of new people in the group this time around and um, they've made sure that we all know exactly what has to be done and what we're doing. Um, and I'd just like to say thanks to them because they've been there more than anyone that I can really think of that has. So there's a lot of mentors that have uh, affected me, basically all of them. But if I had to single out one, it'd be Derek. Uh, I got interested in electrical stuff, and so Derek's the electrical mentor, so I was around him. And uh, just him showing me things and giving me skills, teaching me, uh, gave me confidence for a lot of things. But I wouldn't be anywhere without the confidence that Derek gave me through being an awesome mentor. I first met Mr. Kevin working with the special unit with FTC stuff in the fall and the more I've worked with him um, during that time and during uh, this year's current season the more I've actually been kind of bummed that I didn't get to work with him last year. He's one of the best mentors. He's always really level-headed and brings a lot of good ideas to the table and works really well with all of us. Um, and he's really helped us out a lot this season, and I really, really appreciate that. 
and I just wish that I had gotten a chance to work with them more and I look forward to working with them next year. I mean the most probably be um, one of them was Thompson. He taught me how to use pretty much the entire machine shop and he taught me everything about it. Anytime I get stuck on something I can ask him what to do about. I'd say Thompson, you're a pretty cool dude. I like you. Okay. Derek is the mentor that inspires me the most. Um, he's taught me basically everything I know how to do and how to participate on the team and how to work together with others. Uh, working with him is really teaching. It's a teaching process because he shows you how to do something without doing it himself. He'll teach you how to work on the thing you're trying to do and figure it out yourself by giving you hints without actually solving it for you. Uh, he helps you whenever he can. If you ask him, he'll probably try and help you or research it and help you if he doesn't know how. I want to say thank you for teaching me how to participate on the team and work together with others and for making me feel like a part of the team. I've known Mr. Andy as a mentor since ninth grade, uh -huh. uh, which isn't very long ago, but it seems like forever. Um, he was our mentor for FTC, and I was only in FTC for one year, but it was the best. I don't think I would probably be in robotics still if it weren't for that first year. Mr. Andy taught me everything that I know about robots, or at least everything I knew about robots coming into the first uh, FRC season. And um, I, I don't know where I'd be in robotics without Mr. Andy. So I've also known Mr. Andy since FTC, but I've known him for, this will be my fourth year as him being my mentor. And um, Mr. Andy was always unique in the way that you would ask him, you know, hey, what's wrong with this? And he said, oh, I don't know, you figure it out. <laughs> and, and that was, it, he never, he was always guiding. He really good at teaching you what to do without telling you. And then when you would give up, he was just really encouraging, you know, you can find this, you're smart enough to do this. And Mr. Andy has, he's been the mentor that's had the most impact on me. As, as Holly said, I don't think he got me into the program because he went to my church and I would have never known would have never known about it without him. And and I love Mr. Andy. <laughs> he's he's yeah. So this is Joe's first year on the team, so I have no background knowledge of him. This is the first time meeting him. And just even though this is his first year on the team, he's been really helpful. I've worked a lot with him on the shooter, collecting data, and trying new prototypes. And the whole way, he's been really helpful. And I thought it was really cool since this was his first year mentoring the team. Jeff, you, you don't come in until really late sometimes, but you stay until really, really early and you're always working very hard um, and you're just tireless effort to make sure that we can get the robot running because without you, we might have a robot but it would be pretty stationary and useless. So, we don't always say thank you, but thank you, yeah. Matt's been a great help to me. He's taught me how to run the lathe, taught me how to keep everything in good condition. I mean, Along with all the other mentors, he's he's taught me so much that so much that I wouldn't have known if it hadn't been for him. It's been great to work with. So over my two years being a part of the Bomb Squad, I've learned quite a few things. And they range from a variety of categories, some electrical, some computer based, some just very generic life skills. And I think all of the mentors have contributed in some way to my development as the person I am today. So it's been a very life enriching experience for me so far. And I can't wait to see how this season helps change me into a better person even more.